Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. First off, I'm so happy that you're here. You probably have noticed that a few things are different, just like my banner, my vibe, my personality, just what I'm into now, my interests have changed. So I've just been going through this whole transition. So I thought, why not film a get ready with me? I'm actually going out with my girl for happy hour tonight. I'm so happy. It's my first like, time actually popping out since I came back from Greece. I was in Greece quite a long time. So yeah, this get ready with me is all about what's been going on in my life, little updates from the last get ready with me me just throw makeup on my face quickly whilst i try to quickly get ready because you guys know i'm notorious for being late currently i'm on time so i actually do have to toss off <laughs> i definitely want to shout out my sponsor for today's video the ridge i'm so so happy because they sent me this beautiful wallet this is like a wallet redefined cue my b-roll so the ridge wallet is designed to streamline how you carry and organize your cards in cash some of its features include expanding to hold one to twelve cards rfid block Locking, very modular design as well as being backed up by a lifetime warranty. The Ridge is all about creating everyday essentials to a standard you don't see every day and this wallet is no exception. There's over 30 colours and styles including carbon fibre and burnt titanium. These wallets also have over 40,000 five star reviews and it's just so durable to the point whereby the Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days and you can send it back for full refund if you don't love it. I personally I'm obsessed with this wallet and I think it's such a great conversation star because it's not every day you actually see a wallet like this. This is a perfect little gift for any men in your life because I know Father's Day is soon going to be among, among us. I actually do have a code which is Naya Talks and um, just easy for you to remember just type in Naya Talks and you'll actually get a discount as well. If you're new here by the way make sure you like and subscribe or at least by the time you get to the end of this video you'll like and subscribe. But yeah thanks guys so much for the support and I'll see you in the transition. <laughs> Guys, I am so happy to finally be filming this Get Ready With Me or just be filming in general. Oh my gosh. I keep doing this thing whereby I said I'm not gonna disappear and then I just do vaminos and I'm out of here, baby. And I need to stop doing that. What is it? What is it? It's obvious, it's obvious that I'm not taking this to the highest, utmost level of professionalism. So I need to get my act together, get my shit together, pack my baggage, put my baggage in the corner, get over myself and focus I'm being a professional. Right, so welcome to my new professional career as a YouTuber, social media influencer, actor, singer, actress. Um, I said it, but just with um, one feminine, one masculine, supposed by Sarah. Right, so, um, hi. I love you so much. Can I tell you why I love you before we even start doing makeup? I love you because you actually are still here with me. I know that I'm, I give you, I just give you a lot. I give you headache, pain, 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 pain. It's like I'm an addict. That's why I snort, I snort. Not uploading to my YouTube channel and you just, you keep giving me this hope that one day, one day I'll go to rehab, I'll come back out and I'll be clean. Thank you so much, it goes a long way. So today, baby, I gotta get ready with me. It's, it's not looking like the best setup right now, darling. And we will probably be moving, maybe in my next video. So you guys will see my whole new setup. Um, it'll be kind of fun, I think. I think you guys will like it. I hope so, I hope so. I hope you guys will like it. But um, yeah, I'll be in a new setup. Maybe a little bit more girly than this, I don't know. Guys, I've just come back from Greece. I've just come back from such a beautiful time of just self-discovery. Baby, look at my tan. Everywhere I go, I show people this. This is like, this this is like the biggest achievement in my life. <laughs> no, but seriously guys, I've just come back from like the most beautiful time and I felt like life was so much slower then. I just enjoyed myself. I know you probably like, oh my God, why don't you do a travel vlog? I was just enjoying myself. Snapchatting was more than enough for me. I just, you know, you just in the moment, ah, life was just sweetening me up. Guys, today I'm going for, um, basically I'm going out with my girl. I'm taking her out. We changed our plan, we went to go out last week, but so today we've got a reservation for six o'clock. Oh my God. Sweetie, it's four oces and I'm just here talking casually. So thank God that my lashes are already done. I think like naturally that just boosts my ego. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a nice natural kind of beat. Natural but beat beat. So we're gonna go for a natural but beat beat. So um let's start with like I've got like this flower seal the deal hydrate and set and spray. So I'm just I'm just gonna put all my product links in order of use in the description box down below. So just check there in case I don't mention a product because I just get in the flow of talking to you guys. So where should I start from? Let me spill more tea on Greece. Guys, I had a good time. It was it was a holiday that I was so happy 
on like i just i've never experienced anything like that before you know just going somewhere and just getting on a plane and just tossing off do you know what i mean just just fucking off seeing how different people live in different parts of the world what their day-to-day -day looks like do you know what i mean just a whole different life to mine you know a whole different life a whole different weather a whole different climate every day feels longer every day you know you wake up you see you've got this ocean view i'll definitely put stuff up on the screen or to the shade editor shout out editor i'm definitely gonna send them just some bts so you guys can see guys lying poolside even having meetings you know having some meetings up there i'll get a little bit more into what i do later it was so nice i even kind of rekindled a relationship up there as well you know a relationship that i was quite you know invested in and i just kind of just rekindled with that person because nothing is worth an argument nothing is worth being angry over when you really get to understand life a bit more it's not worth it whatever emotions that you harbor don't hold it I say that to say that it's just when you look at life and you realize that it's literally just the grace that enables us to see tomorrow or enables me to film this and for you to see it and you just realize that well, all of those things that we, we hold on we just keep hurting ourselves about or like even just mellowing ourselves out about it's just not worth it you can see i'm so tanned that my foundation just looks crazy on my face i just look super yellow <laughs> but like it's just not worth it holding it and i feel like i'm talking to someone whatever it is let go resolve it whilst you still can don't harbor anything in your heart it's not worth it but yeah so i had a bit of that a bit of soul searching as well i just felt really peaceful guys more than anything it was a nice environment to work i was energized all the time i went quad biking parasailing like just going to the beach driving into different cities i went to heraklion i went to a place called Honosos. i was um in some other place like just different parts i stayed at two different hotels i went to like the best hotels that were in crete literally one was stella island very expensive stay but completely worth it i had like the best mass massages you could get all that type of stuff oh, my serve my room service charge <sighs> had to hold that <laughs> but um it was just a lovely experience me i was having pina coladas every day i wake up food is being made in front of me guys there's good things in this life we have to work our way up to having a a, a, a live-in chef because it makes a difference that you don't have to worry about what to feed yourself only you you're walking only you paying bill only you making food for yourself only you maintaining relationships only you looking after a child if you have a child only you do you know what I mean? ah, one thing one pairs eh? people don't understand guys there's levels to life all. there's levels to life they really are they really are but at the same time there's so many different parallels you know there's so many different parallels and never you go and do something that doesn't bring you peace just for the sake of money it won't last long it won't be sustainable it won't be sustainable so don't fall into that trap but um I saw different types of people. I saw um, some people that are there for a particular reason. Whore. No, I'm saying. I saw some people that were just going about their life. I saw some retired, a lot of retired couples, like just different types of people I ran into. It was nice. It was just nice. And the staff were so friendly as well, which is what I loved. What else I want to talk to you about? Um, yeah, like I, I put, I made like a little pointers list because sometimes I'll be talking to people and I just lose my thoughts. But I feel like you guys enjoy that as well because we can just have a free flowing conversation. But yeah, that is my Greece vlog. Uh, my my holiday was quite expensive you guys know so let me get into what i've been up to recently why i've kind of been away from the channel i recently built a new website it's www.nyasworld.com feel free to check it out so i recently built a new website and it's just been performing tremendously well um i actually make sites some wix so hit me up for your website <laughs> but yeah i've just been in this whole new thing you guys know i also trade nfts that's where i started i started trading nfts last december and i've really really gotten into it and my discorders have really gotten into it as well and we're just like in we're in deep you know what i mean we're just plugged in to web3 so it's just been an amazing time just being oh my god 
what the hell i didn't even blend here can you imagine but yeah it's just been an amazing time you guys know i've been doing it for like five months i'll show you guys how i've been doing literally i've really built up my crypto net worth and it's really allowed me to make some sizable moves you know so i am very grateful and then what's what's the icing on the cake is how well my discorders have been doing i've seen them flip 30 pounds to 400 pounds i've flipped them seen them flip a grand i've seen them diamond hand something to like 20 so like just different things like i'll put up how they've been doing because we've got like a testimonial slash success results basically you guys we trade non-fungible tokens nfts we're all very well educated because one thing about me that's why i wrote guides because you don't do anything i think a lot of people think oh yeah like it's too good to be true yeah that's because it is we do a lot of work <laughs> we do a lot of research and um we look at like the blockchain metrics of the nft you know to see how it will do performance wise we do a lot of research into our alpha calls and that's why the discord kind of compresses all the information and it just makes it great i've seen people go from not knowing a damn thing about nfts to making their first sale second sale third sale to the point where they're getting so good that they're even making calls themselves do you know what i mean so i've seen people just get synced in i see how our community is building and how we're growing i've been sourcing funding for the community as well so that we can start getting whitelisted for these projects which means we can able to buy them before other people even can but i've seen us just make really good plays on secondary and it's just good to see other people feeling some sort of relief but by it's like oh my god everything is going up in my life except my pay and then them being able to do something that allows them to just do it from home with like a laptop and wi-fi and it can actually just help build their bag that's been the most amazing thing i'm seeing some people they've been trying to move for like two years now they've only been doing nfts three months they're telling us that they're going to their new apartment <laughs> big flex it's been really really amazing so i built some digital products i even recently built a course guys it's a course where it's like if you join the course it will take you from like knowing nothing about nfts to making your first sale it's like a full learning course it comes with like little quizzes at the end and um like after every topic there's only four main topics to get you to newbie well to your first sale obviously um the basics so you actually understand what nfts are and then also um setting up so setting up your wallet and all that type of stuff especially if you've had no experience with crypto whatsoever obviously NFTs are just like crypto assets so going taking you through that process introducing you to the main platform in which we do it on and then on top of that it would be to actually buying your first NFT and selling it and then you can also be in the discord you get some guys like I'm gonna leave a link down below guys so you can just check it out like all there is in it for you it's amazing it's amazing and but you know what you have to with anything in life you have to just dedicate time to it you know i always see that fortune favors the brave and i just feel like if i didn't start trading nfts like what would i what I, what would i be doing now i wouldn't have a discord i wouldn't have made digital products on it i wouldn't have you know made a program on it like all these things i'm seeing all these testimonials they wouldn't have happened you know if i hadn't just taken a leap so i am so happy and i'm so glad that we are doing something whereby it's still early i hate being the last person Person to find something out do you know what i mean because it, it's not it's not the same when you're coming last do you know what i mean it's not the same all this insider information that we're doing the fact that we're growing a network we have a youtube channel um i'll link a uh, link to our youtube channel so you can check out our last podcast basically there was an alpha call guys this alpha call it was like an nft uh it's like of a bear well okay bears and literally guys it was i think it was like one soul to mint so it was like 140 pounds 1.5 soul it was 140 pounds to mint if you couldn't mint it was actually like four so to like ten so initially so that's like well give or take like 240 pounds guys literally in 72 hours it was 15 grand so if you had been like you know fuck it this is my first sale i'm just gonna ape in i'm gonna buy two 30 grand like that i'm gonna buy three 45 so it's just so crazy and even then on like slow weeks there's still pumps there are still pumps all the time literally something can literally that's why solana is amazing but something could literally be uh, uh, 180 pounds last night and then this morning or this afternoon could literally be 900 that's what's so crazy about it something that you're holding could dump it could you could have bought it for like let's say 240 pounds right the token and then it could dump to like maybe 130 and then it could pump back up literally two weeks later to 20 so which is what 1.2k 
diamond hand in it <laughs> it's amazing though it's amazing and i feel like it's great for trying to recoup generational profits <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, because what else can you really do that will give you money like that? Literally, that will give you money like that. Like, almost like it was magic. Definitely look into it, guys. Look into how you can capitalize on just Web3 as a whole. It doesn't need to be NFTs per se. And uh, uh, Web3 jobs are paying three times more than Silicon Valley jobs. So, guys, always, always look. What can you do? Do you know what I mean? Don't be too scared to take risks and go out of your comfort zone. If you're not happy somewhere, have enough courage to leave. Fuck it. Nothing is worth your sanity. Nothing. Let's be brave. I wish more people would be brave. If we're not brave and fearless now, when will we be? Be brave, man. Place all bets on yourself. It's either this or nothing. That's what I want. I want either double or nothing. How I kind of want to live my life now. Practice my life, literally. I even just misplaced my Rolex. Can you imagine? That's how risky I'm living life now. I'm just doing my thing, seriously. And you are gonna see more of me in the weeks to come. What I've just been busy doing is I've just been building and helping others build. That's what I've been doing. But when it's time to present myself, I'm gonna present myself. So I'm just taking my baby steps. Taking my baby steps, one thing at a time. And now is i want to live my life in a way whereby i just walk first and then i'll begin to run do you know what i'm saying so all right so i've kind of done my makeup somewhat i feel like i'm not looking cute oh my god oh my god i just realized i don't even have highlighter i'm just gonna look flat no no okay what else i want to talk to you guys about my next topic i wanted to give you an update um from my last get ready with me where i spoke about my dad guys i don't know i think my dad blocked me <laughs> I tried messaging my dad basically i had to reschedule so i was meant to see him a week came when i was meant to see him but i had to reschedule and i don't know if he blocked me like i'm kidding you not or if he's changed his like guys literally this is my dad right so i save him as gina dozy i don't know unless my dad has found a long lost son and this is my brother so basically he sent me some i think wow oh my god we haven't spoken in a little while i haven't spoken to him since january like he hasn't made contact back since january so i don't know what's gone on literally this is the contact with my dad right so if i click here who who is this <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see that but like okay pass up okay is this is this like another brother that i don't know about <laughs> seriously my dad has like three kids i didn't even know that i thought he had two i just found out literally like last week he has a third child so that's kind of funny so i don't know if this is like my older brother because like, i wouldn't be surprised because i'm surprised i would be the first born if i'm honestly being honest but is this my older brother he looks kind of fly still <laughs> It's kind of fly. I see that pinky. <laughs> Can you guys see the pinky? I should take a screenshot because I'm actually not even playing. Like this is this is I don't I don't know what's happened because you know he my dad has a, a thing of like showing his kids like he doesn't even talk to you on his WhatsApp display picture. So I'm just trying to figure out like is that, is that my older brother? Because I'd love to have an older brother. I sometimes I feel really lonely because it's just me in that sense. And unfortunately, I'm not in a situation of a, a stable regular situation with my dad where I'm able to meet my siblings. That really pains me as an individual and i feel incomplete if i'm being honest definitely it's, it's an insecurity of mine i'll be real so i just want to know like is that my brother because <laughs> i'll shout him because i just want to know like how are you doing bro <laughs> i'm just about getting by do you smoke your book <laughs> that's what i would ask that you could just bake on somewhere because yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know um but he hasn't really texted me back so i don't know if like i'm being punished i can never really tell with him do you know what i mean i can never really tell i don't know that's kind of like the update not really as probably as joyful as you guys were expecting but it's, it's where i'm at so I, I i honestly don't know i honestly don't know Oof, maybe i'm on timeout or something oh you know another thing another crazy thing that just she just came to mind kevin samuels passed away I, I think you guys will probably see this video this video ideally is scheduled for wednesday so if today is 8th wednesday the 11th so hopefully you guys will see this for wednesday the 11th which is why i also want to keep it short and sweet so you guys will get some more content from me because my last video will probably just be me introducing you guys to like the whole new vibe i'm going for our channel and stuff so hopefully but yeah and kevin samuels just died and that's sad because last night when i saw it you guys know i'm always talking on snapchat even if i don't talk on on youtube um definitely i'll probably say something on snapchat that's why i will stay i will say i'm the most active 
um, use my Snapchat. Yeah, he died and, and I think people's reaction was quite distasteful in my opinion. And yeah, I 100% agree. It's not every opinion of Kevin Samuels that I will agree with. Of course not. That goes for anybody. You shouldn't agree with 100% of what anybody says because we're all human and we're all just trying to figure it out. But what I definitely will always disagree with is mocking people in death. And I think if you're one of those people, you should definitely question yourself a little bit and look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself why you would even stoop down ever to mock someone in death. Uh, I don't agree with it. And if you, I know that none of you would have done that because I know the type of people I have on this channel. There's no way none of mine will do that. Do you know what I mean? Because we're not there. We will never be there. There's no need to do that. Even if you've got, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. Could literally a rule of thumb in life. Don't say anything at all. What I felt naturally and what anyone should feel is empathy. Because you know, when someone moves on, especially at the age he's at, he's a young man, you know, prime of his life. He's done something well. One thing you can't take away from him is that he was incredibly successful. And at the end of the day, I don't know why people are so upset about what he said. You lot pushed him, put him on a pedestal, you reacted. He was a good guy in terms of getting reactions out of people. And that's what you need. That is what does well on social media, getting reactions out of people. Imagine how my engagement would increase dramatically if I started talking about like who's in my DMs and, and maybe showing more of myself and just being more of a hot topic or starting problems with people. Oh my gosh, my videos will, will, will blow. But it's it's, it's it's a thing where you, you choose what type of content creator you want to be. He was a successful content creator because he gets shock content, shock value content. That's what he would put out there. And it shocked people. And I think also it made people question themselves and also question their expectations and realities of everybody else. At the same time, Kevin didn't even have no babes. So I don't know why everyone was so impressed. Like, you know, like, cause at the end of the day, we're all just trying to figure stuff out, but it's, it's not good to wish death on people. Trust me. I would know firsthand, man. I used to literally like hate my dad at a time in my life. Not knowing that I was even damaging myself. Do you know that hits somebody here? It's like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. I'm gonna don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your breath. Don't waste your, you don't hate nobody. When people go low, you go high. <laughs> Do what makes you happy and you're out here and you're just being bold. Trying to get out of the system and just be more than, than a statistic. Do you know what I'm saying? Just be more than that. That's what we're fighting for, to just not be mediocre. Not to say that we, we've lived a mediocre life where we didn't do anything. Cause what a waste that would be. But it's looking like I don't have a sharp enough for my lip liner. Guys, this is so bush. Thank you for loving me. Seriously, because um, I'm actually about to line my lips with eyeshadow. Gosh. No, you're too fat. Yeah, I want someone to help me. This is a skill, literally talking and being able to line your lips. I want someone to help me with you doing like, you know, my calls for Discord and like, for example, if I've got a date with my friends now, instead of me having to plan it, I'd love them to plan it. I'd love them to also help me, like, you know, to run my Google Calendar kind of updates itself. Also to just help me with my calendar. So plan me a little bit, maybe manage me, assist me, a little bit of all of that. But I don't know how to even go about it. I need to look into it properly because I I've been slowly expanding my team, my reach, and I see it benefits me greatly to have help. I can't be a one woman army. I get tired of seriously. That's why I have someone that even like now helps me with my workout. I don't know what to work. I'm out here watching TikToks and they're doing the craziest movement on the machine, and it turns out that that's not even really a dynamic movement. Like it's not even really doing much for you. So I was like, man, like, I don't even know, you know. Um, but now that I'm, you know, I'm doing all right, I can help myself by using my money to also buy me convenience, do you know what I mean? Everywhere I go, I get driven. Yeah, don't even have to drive. I just get in the back of Uber. It's taking from A to B. I'm good. I do my work. I make magic happen. I come back, do something else. Make magic happen. I go to school. Make magic happen. It's not easy. I'm trying. I have two exams left. One physical, one online, one mass exam. I'm not worried. If you know me, my marks is my subject. I feel do one, I feel pass on. Back to you, baby. I baby, this summer, you look at me, baby. Baby, this summer. Instagram, Instagram, that way could defeat me last year when it didn't allow me to have 20k. Okay. All right, let me take my bonnet off so you guys can kind of see what my hair is saying. Oof, this is where we're at. But I f do I want a center part? See, the problem is, I'm so silly. I don't even have my hot comb. I had my wig made for me, guys. I found someone that's just gonna be making my wigs. Got me a wig maker, man. Can't be making wigs anymore. I'm even gonna do my last install. I'm doing my last install ever. 
um on the 27th of this month by the way if you're out there your wig maker pop me an email i'm gonna put my email up on the screen because basically i'm gonna put back a site i had before online and if you want to be getting bookings under me let's work something out and um we can set that up uh if you don't have a store place to install don't worry about it i can figure that out just as long as you've you've got the tenacity you're ready to work let's make magic happen so yeah just email me yeah that's what i'll say on that all right guys so i don't even have um i don't even have like mousse <laughs> this is actually my setting spray do you know how funny that is i feel like i look like a cute mess <laughs> Let me go wet my hair a little bit. I'll be right back, guys. You know what? I don't even care how my hair looks. Like, my baby hairs are just big, messy, and fluffy. But I just, I kind of just like it as I am. I'm so chilled out. I want to look for someone who can be doing my installs because I cannot be bothered anymore. I don't want to do anything that causes me stress. This hair is so cute. It just needs oil, which I don't have. And I don't have mousse, nothing. Can you imagine? I'm just using, like, my mist and spray right now. It's so soft, though. I should have bought some. I was in Brixton yesterday. I literally went, I went to go eat and I didn't even go to the hair shop. Guys, my brain was just mush after I ate. I had like five guys. But the hair is so cute and it's so fluffy. But um, yeah, my baby hairs, they're just big and fluffy, guys. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some under eye mascara. I'm also just going to brush my lashes up a wee bit, pump my eyes up, and then I'm gonna put some under eye mascara. What's also killing the look right now is the fact that I don't even have a highlight. I don't have a highlighter. I could have just highlighted my tear duct. All right, I put some mascara on. All right, I feel a little cute. I feel a little cute, whatever. I wish I had mousse, genuinely. I wish I had mousse, that's it. Could we do my baby hairs? Or I could just leave them as they are. I really can't be bothered. Should I just go change and I'll see how I feel? Mm, yeah, let me go change. Right guys, so I've just gone and I got dressed. I've got this cute little top from Shen. I've got like these cute accessories from PLT. And I've got like these nice hoops that I nicked from my mom because she's always nicking my stuff. So I literally just nicked her earrings. I do not even care. I like my makeup, it's cute. It's just a nice natural beat. Like we're going out for a happy hour. So I just want us to have cocktails on me, obviously. Uh, I just want to treat my girl, buy her like some cocktails and um, so we can eat and just do little fun stuff. She's probably gonna watch this later so yeah i can't wait to hang out with her i look cute she's gonna look beautiful and we're just gonna have a good funky time so i'm actually ready and i think i'm cute so yeah definitely shout out to rich wallets guys make sure you get yourself a wallet i think you'll really really love them they're really really good um yeah and thank you guys so much for supporting me make sure you check out the stuff on my site i've got lots of digital products digital guides and i've also got programs and stuff like that so make sure you check out my site at www.nyaswell.com follow me on socials at nyaplet complex but Naya. <laughs> oh my god, it's fucking Alan. <laughs> my favorite squirrel that was in my house. <laughs> but yeah, um, he's outside. I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'm not